Hello everyone, this is Heba Amin, Famer Fellow 2020, Faculty of Medicine at Wine University. I'm going to present my action project, Medical Students' Contribution to Curriculum Reformation and Faculty Development. It's an action project with the contribution of medical students, staff members, and administrative figures. Uh, medical schools have face a high degree of student dissatisfaction owing to the increased number of students to the infrastructure. Moreover, the COVID has uh, added uh, more challenges to the educational process. We aim through this research project to uh, create an online platform for medical students. The students are the main contributors under staff uh, mentorship and supervision. This uh, action project is uh, designed through uh, the appreciative coaching 4D design, dream, design, deliver, and then discover through the PETCA cycle the corrective actions that should be done. We did a pilot study in phase one and finally we had phase two implementation. The main action uh, actions uh, taken were the receiving the research ethics uh, ethical committee approval, then a needs assessment survey was followed by a survey for recruiting different uh, required uh, student skills as case scenario writers, reviewers, role players, video makers, video editors, programmers, and makeup artists. Then introductory workshops for the students were held. These included appreciative coaching, heart conversation, MTI with team building and conflict management, leadership styles and team management. Then feedback surveys, interviews, focus groups and Delphi techniques were done. Uh, our workshops on CBL writing and research uh, uh, writing were also held. Through a six steps of authoring, reviewing, and production, the QBank was developed. 11 scholarly research teams were built. The students were formally engaged in the IT unit in the Faculty of Medicine and were assigned tasks within the learning management system. Finally, an autopsy workshop team was built with trained peer students. Uh, owing to the unprecedented success of our online platform, in the Faculty of Medicine, the contributors were assigned to replicate this process in the 21 colleges of Helwan University. Then teams were created for email creation, class creation, uh, students peer trainers for different colleges, uh, uh, a team for video making for uh, students, teachers and admins, uh, media designer team for producing banners and students guides. Uh, as well as a team for moderating the official e-learning Facebook page of Helwan University. The main output was QBank with 700 uploaded case scenarios and 1,500 on progress. 11 research teams with articles in progress were, uh, were uh, uh, built. Uh, autopsy workshop with students, peers, and design, uh, organizers uh, uh, is uh, made. Uh, the teams were, have achieved most of the university goals with 100% of, uh, of email creation in phase two and 80 per, over 80% of the online classes were created. The main outcomes uh, uh, are uh, learning management system with uh, students QBank. The students developed communication skills and leadership skills besides having achieved the level of creation. The students have developed research skills the integration between the departments through collaboration in one project was achieved. We have now six published research articles with students contributors, three preprints and students uh, abstracts where, uh, uh, where uh, their, uh, work on their contribution into international conferences that are listed here below. Um, the main lessons learned were uh, where uh, that students' engagement in the production of their educational material and platform has helped in developing uh, their uh, communication skills and achieving the level of creation. The students through practice have developed research skills. The hands-on experience has enhanced their team building capacity and leadership skills. The students are the task force for 
any change, focusing on developing strengths and skills is more important than focusing on bigger achievements. A checklist for evaluating the efficiency of the learning management system should be used as it should have an intuitive user interface, customization, personalization, flexible reporting, and a feedback system. Thank you.